Hi, I'm Paul McGowan. Let's see what today's mail brings. Actually, that's not true. The, as you can see, I got a stack of them here that the the uh, the sales guys and Bill Levens and the editors have kind of <clears throat> gotten out for me. So let's see what kind of surprise I got today. All right, this is from Fred in Massachusetts. Hey, Fred. In what ways do you think the material the actual loudspeaker transducer, the part that vibrates, is made of, influences the quality of the sound that we actually hear? Paper, metal, plastic, or carbon fiber are all different from each other. That's a really good question. And let me just say up front, I am no speaker expert. I can share with you what knowledge I do have that I've gleaned from Arnie Nudell, the uh, designer of Infinity and, and, and my good friend, and I can give you a, a couple of basics on that. But I, I am unfortunately not a speaker designer. I can just uh, just know enough to, to uh, get myself in trouble. So don't come around and after me if all this is like, I don't agree with that. <laughs> it's funny that I say people don't agree with. That's okay. That's just fine. So let's take uh, woofers and I'll share with you what I do know about woofers and there's all kinds of woofers there's paper cone woofers Kevlar woofers aluminum woofers um, oh geez the the uh, diamond crusted woofer I mean you name it there's somebody that's making uh, a woofer cone out of some kind of material bamboo I've seen uh, and all of that is going to have a different sonic quality to it, but perhaps not in the way that you think, especially in a woofer. Now, as we get up into the, the, the higher frequency drivers, I believe that the, the actual sound itself is more affected by material. But um, as best I understand, what you want is within the frequency range that the driver is working, you don't want it to flex and to move around. I know Arnie always liked aluminum cone woofers because up to a certain point, which he calls the oil can resonance, and if you think about it, um, a oil can that, this, this is really gonna date me because they probably don't even make oil cans anymore, but used to be, we would have these cans with this long spout and you'd push on the bottom of it and chikook, 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 and that would squirt out the oil. And, you know, today I, I, I use WD-40, but back then they had these oil cans. And so when you push a metal object beyond a certain point, it, it, it doesn't crinkle, but it, it's what we call oil canning. It flexes and breaks its stride as a flat surface. So you don't want that to happen in a woofer. So within the bounds of, of it moving up to a certain point uh, and a certain what we call X max, X max is how far from the center line that the woofer moves forward and backwards. Um, if you remember some of Bob Carver's crazy subwoofers that I, I just loved had an X max that was just ridiculous. I mean, some of his woofers move that much where the average woofer moves maybe 16 millimeters. Uh, 15 millimeters, not much. Uh, Bob Carver's moved. He, he had a super sub, these cubes. Uh, so there's all kinds of things you can do. And Bob's a pretty clever guy. And he's done pretty much everything you can. But I don't know. And I'm going to say, I'm going to guess that it won't make a difference. If you take a 12-inch woofer and you have it out of aluminum uh, or you have it out of Kevlar, uh, that that would make a heck of a difference in the way the bass sounds as long as you're not hitting these various uh, limitations uh, to the woofer's performance, okay? So I don't think you'd actually hear the difference between an aluminum uh, low-frequency woofer and a Kevlar or diamond-crusted woofer. Just, just my best guess. But as we get into higher frequencies, mid-ranges, and tweeters, there, I think it makes quite a bit of difference, although I don't believe it is so much the material itself. Again, it's the material's property. I know in ribbon tweeters that I am very fond of, whether they're uh, an accordion ribbon like an AMT Heil that's kind of an accordion, 
Um, the actual material itself, whether it's Kapton, uh, these are all films, um, or Mylar, as long as it, uh, it, it does what you want it to do within the range that you want to do it, I don't believe it actually makes a difference. Um, I have heard claims to the contrary. Some of these uh, super expensive diamond encrusted tweeters and mid ranges, uh, I'm certain that those uh, uh, designers and manufacturers are going to argue with me about that. And they may well be right. And I just simply don't have the information being an electronics guy uh, and less of a speaker guy. So I think I'll stop there while I'm sort of ahead of myself. Great question. Thanks for asking.